Hey guys, my name's Frankie and today we're going to be taking a look at how to easily complete all of the challenges in the 80s action hero event. You can basically do all of the challenges in Plunder except for the power grab challenge. So let's get straight into this with the first challenge which is to earn first blood by being the first member of the team to get a kill. Easy enough, just jump into Plunder as a solo and get a kill. That's all there is to it. So the next one is to get 15 kills with explosive weapons or explosive lethal equipment. I actually misread this one at first and I thought I could use any lethal equipment like the throwing knife to do the challenge, but it wants anything explosive only. So I jumped into plunder with this loadout, down the player first and finish them off with either the Strella or the Semtex grenade. Just remember you need to stick them with the Semtex or it won't kill them. So do that 15 times more and the unlock will be yours. Next up is to collect 50 dog tags in power grab. This one's pretty easy also. The red boxes always contain dog tags. The blue boxes sometimes contain dog tags. And a killed player always has dog tags. So it's up to you how passive you want to be and how quickly you want to do the challenge. If you go for a mix of killing players and orange crates, you should have this unlocked in a few matches. So the next is to reach the final circle five times in power grab. This one doesn't really need an explanation really, but my advice is to drop in with your friends, don't do this one solo. Then you've got to eliminate 25 enemy agents during the arms deal public event, and to do that, you have to go down into the car park below Nakatomi Plaza, get in the back of the van over here, and start the event. That's going to spawn a load of AI bots for you to kill. Just kill 25 of them and you'll have done this challenge, but keep in mind that other players see the dots on the mini-map and they hear all the commotion in the car park and want to get in on the action, so yeah, good luck. Then you're going to need to survive the jump from the top of Nakatomi Plaza all the way to the ground. Easy enough, to be honest. When you parachute in from the helicopters, just land on the roof and then jump straight away. Just make sure your feet touch the roof and then pull your chute before you hit the ground. Easy peasy. Next, you need to complete just one of any three of the side missions around Nakatomi Plaza right here. They all do different things, but the easiest by far is probably the scavenger contract. So just go and pick one of them up and do it. Then you need to collect three Rambo Prisoner of War dog tags, and they can be found at the new survival camps located around the map. And here's the locations of those, but you can go to Hangar 21, find the map, and when you interact with it, it's going to pull up all of the locations of the survival camps on your mini-map. The problem is with this one is I was only able to find one dog tag per match and they seem a bit random for where they spawn so this might take a couple of games to do it. And then finally you have to get three kills with the combat bow kill streak. The most success I had with this was to drop again into Hangar 21 at Millie Base. And the combat bow does seem to spawn here a lot, but if it doesn't, just update your map again and hop over to the nearest survival camps until you find it in one of the chests. And my advice once you do get it, try to pick off solo players from a distance with it. If you see a team of four running around and you try to engage that team as a solo with a combat bow, you're asking to be blasted into the next lobby, so... Yeah, pick off the weaklings. Anyway, once you've done all of that, you'll unlock the final reward. Congratulations. You earned a weapon skin that you're probably never going to use because they nerfed the weapon into the ground. But you do have bragging rights and the satisfaction of completing the event, so well done. Anyway, I hope you found this one useful. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video. Toodaloo!